What is all the fuss about MOTS C? The MOTS C is a naturally occurring peptide that your body produces in the mitochondria, which is actually the energy centers of the cells. It is a relatively new discovery in the mitochondria biology and the longevity science field. And so what does MOTC do? MOTC is going to play a key role in metabolism, okay? Cellular stress response and aging regulation. Okay, so here is what the research is suggesting at this point. And like I said, it's still early on. Number one, it is boosting the metabolism. It improves insulin sensitivity and it helps the body burn fat for fuel. So of course, we all want that. Number two, it enhances mitochondrial function. It's going to support energy production and reduce cellular fatigue. Number three, it is protecting against age-related diseases. Science is showing, research is showing that this is guarding against obesity, and it may also help with diabetes as well as some inflammatory conditions. Number four, research is showing in animal studies that it is improving exercise performance. And they actually showed that it increased endurance and muscle function in animal studies. Number five, also early research is suggesting that it may protect brain cells under stress so it can support cognitive health. So how is it used? So what form are people taking? Is this a pill? Is it a patch? What is it? It's usually always taken as a peptide injection. And I know peptides are kind of all the rage right now, but most of these are being done as an injection, unless you're looking at the LifeWave product, the X39, that is a patch. So this will be done as an injection at this point. It might turn into a patch over time. Dosing is still being studied, but some biohackers and longevity clinics are using short cycles. So an example of a short cycle would be a few times a week for a month or so. A reminder that this is not FDA approved at this point. It is still considered experimental and most use are happening through research clinics or off-label peptide therapies. So a couple things I wanna point out that are important considerations if you look into this and you're interested in this, it is still in the early stages of research. Mostly animal studies, some early, early, early human trials. It is not widely available or regulated, and the long-term safety is not fully known. So if you try this, you wanna make sure that you are using this under supervised care with someone that is knowledgeable with peptide therapy. I also wanna point out just a few um, side effects that have been linked with this. They are not major, but I do need to point this out. Uh, number one, people have said that they have seen kind of mild injection site reactions. So that would be a little bit of redness, swelling, itching, or bruising. This is common with any peptide injection, but I just felt like I needed to share that with you guys. Another one, number two, would be fatigue, being lethargic. This could be possibly due to the shifts in the metabolism or energy use. Third, small rare side effect would be headache or becoming dizzy. And this is also sometimes reported during just the first few days of use. The fourth one would be some users have mentioned mild nausea or stomach discomfort. And the fifth one would be at this point, there are unknown long-term risk. Since MOTC is a newer therapeutic peptide, the long-term safety data in humans is lacking. So if that is something you're concerned about, then maybe just hold off and wait and let more research be done in this area. Um, I would love to hear if anybody has tried this. I've never tried it. I'm just now kind of digging into it. I would love to hear just kind of what the results have been that you've experienced if you've tried this and if you're excited to try it. And so leave comments below and like and share.